what can you do with BureauWorks and Blackbird? A lot, but first, what is BureauWorks and what is Blackbird? BureauWorks is a cutting edge translation management system with a ton of automation and a turn of augmentation. It allows small, medium, large, global enterprises and agencies to get their content and turn it into localizable, localized content in hundreds of languages. Blackbird is a platform purpose-built to orchestrate multilingual content operations as both a language middleware and as content IPaaS, right? So long story short, Blackbird allows you to connect into a ton of different apps that they have in their ecosystem, including uh, BureauWorks, which we can see right here. And from these apps, you can build birds, like the one, the bird that I built, which is basically looking at Contentful and saying that whenever an entry gets published in Contentful, it's going to get that entry as an HTML file, and it's going to look for the English locale, and it's going to include referenced entries, so the nested content is going to be included in there. And it's going to, based on that, create a project in ViraWorks with this main organizational unit, with me, Gabriel Account Admin, as the contact person, with the source locale as English. And it's also adding a tag called Contentful. And um, it's also adding project notes coming from Contentful. And I'm also instructing it to create Portuguese as its target locale with the translation and review workflow steps. And once this project is uh, delivered, then what's going to happen is Blackbird, um, BureauWorks is going to download this translated, actually Blackbird is going to download this translated content and is then going to update the entry in uh, Contentful, right? So that's what the, the integration that we built for this demo is going to do. So let's go back here and let's go into Contentful. So in Contentful, we have created this very simple um, um, content, seeing amazing test, and it has a very simple title, no content yet in Portuguese, just the English content, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Now, when I publish this, this is going to trigger in uh, Blackbird, if we go into flights now, that's, a, that's where we're going to be able to monitor this. I can see here 318 and 40 seconds. This was literally a few seconds ago. This, bird, this flight was created by the bird, and the, country, the entry was published. The file was gotten as an HTML file. The project was created in BureauWorks, and I can follow with time tracking and an audit log of everything that happened. The, the project was uploaded into BureauWorks, and now Blackbird is waiting for the status of this project to turn into um, delivered. So for that, let's go back into BureauWorks, and let's see if this project was really created. Indeed, I have this project that's in pending status, and I can check in key dates that this project was created right now, just literally a minute ago, and it was moved automatically based on automation. BureauWorks calculated the project cost at $3.25, moved this into pending. I'm happy with the cost. I'm going to approve this project. Now this project is in full production. It's approved. I'm going to log into our editor, and I'm going to use augmentation to translate this. So when I click on this sentence over here, for instance, BureauWorks is going to provide the translation using um, a augmentation. And right now, I'm going to agree with this translation for now. BureauWorks is going to detect that there's repetition propagation. It's going to ask me for how I want to deal with it. And I do want to propagate the, the repetition. And again, it automatically confirmed that. It's picking up esta demo incrível. Notice that there's a slight uh, deviation already from Microsoft MT that's using esta demonstração. The text is tending towards informality because our AI is keep picking up on that tone in the initial text. And uh, I'm going to confirm this. We love it. Nós amamos isso. I'm going to confirm this as well. So we're good. I'm going to deliver this task. So this step has been completed. Now this task has been delivered. If I go back into my project screen, I'll be able to see that now this first workflow step, the translation workflow step, was indeed completed, and I'm going to move on to review. If I open the review part here in BureauWorks, and let's say here I do want to make more changes. And to make these changes, I want to use SuChef, because SuChef is going to allow me to create a style guide on the fly 
based on this content. And it's also, so it's picking up the domain as software demonstration, it's picking up on the audience, potential clients, software users, stakeholders, and it created a guideline for me as well. Translate in a lively and positive manner, maintaining the excitement and enthusiasm expressed in the original text. Use casual language and appropriate for informal presentations and product demos. Maybe I want to take this a step further. Maybe I want to say that this tone is actually going to be witty and I'm going to be teens who are super excited and on Twitter and I'm going to make this super creative. And when I generate insightful translations for this now, the translations are going to change, right? So now, for instance, I'm going to apply this. It's going from demonstration, which is a formal way of saying that in 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 in, in English, um, in Portuguese, and I'm going to use dem demo irada. That bureau works at the Blackbird, so it's changing the expression. Bureau works is picking up on this fluency change. It's explaining the fluency change. The reviewer changes the transition from a formal and standard uh, to a more informal colloquial tone. And it's describing the exact change. I agree with this. So I'm going to mark this as reviewed. Again, I'm going to propagate this. And it's only asking me because I didn't mark it not to ask me. And I can see the changes over here as well. So I can see exactly what I changed. I can add comments and say, thanks, this is great. Um, now the tone is there. So I can add these comments. And by the way, all of these changes are going to be logged, are being logged in real time in BureauWorks. Anyway, I'll show you where that where that's taking place. Again, I'm going to run the insightful translations again. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go with mano, essa demo tá surreal. I'm gonna go with that. And BureauWorks is gonna categorize that as a fluency change. My AI agents, my semantic agent smells are going crazy here about a register mismatch, about a literal meaning shift, about an additional addition of informal address, all true. And I'm going to ignore all of these because I do want these things. So I'm ignoring all of these uh, smells. I'm going to mark this as reviewed. And again, uh, this final change here, uh, I'm going to make a change uh, over here. And Bureaux is going to categorize this change as well as a fluency change, going to describe the change. Again, I'm going from a standard literal rendering to a more colloquial and expressive tone. Again, I'm going to mark this as reviewed. I can see the changes. And now everything is confirmed. I'm going to deliver this task. So now the work in BureauWorks is done. Important to note, as I was describing from a quality management perspective, um, if I go into quality and I go into reviews, and I filter for today, all of the changes that I've made um, are going to be over here. So I'll be able to see these changes that I made, their, 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 their respective comments, and I can see exactly all of these uh, changes. So they're generating data around my translations, vendors who were used, etc., which is super powerful. But let's go back to the project. Now I'm happy with this project and I'm going to deliver this project. Now when I deliver this project, Blackbird is going to look every five minutes in BureauWorks for this project to be in status that's delivered. And if it is delivered, it's going to note that and it's going to deliver, push that content back into Contentful. Now, a few important notes, right? We noticed that in more info, we have the tag Contentful that was created automatically in uh, BureauWorks. If I go into communication as well, I can see that the project notes also brought the information coming from Contentful. All of, if I have automation turned on in BureauWorks, all of the payables that I have for different vendors for whom I paid these tasks, they're also going to be calculated automatically. And um, if I go back here into um, Blackbird, I'll be able to see that it still is waiting to um, look for, the, it's saying that the flight is currently at this checkpoint. It's looking for, it's going to at some point in the next five minutes, look for the uh, status to be delivered. Once it finds that status, it's then going to download these files and it's going to upload them to Contentful. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to keep anybody waiting here. Maybe in the next few seconds, it's going to pick up. If it does, great. But the point is you can create an uh, infinite number of interactions based on these different uh, platforms. So you could create, you could use Blackbird to integrate BureauWorks into OpenAI, into, uh, if we take a look just as different possibilities, right? You can integrate BureauWorks into Amazon uh, Bedrock, into um, Amazon WorkDocs, into Asana, into um, uh, Caption Hub, ClickUp, uh, the list goes on Contentful, which was the demo that we created into, for instance, um, 
GitLab, GitHub, Gmail, and think about all of these possibilities, right? You can create all kinds of different actions. So maybe for instance, just as an example, if we go here into birds, maybe you want to create a, uh, a bird, for instance, that says that when a project, for instance, let's take a look here at an event. So uh, let's click on next and let's select the connection. And let's say when a project is created in Bureau Works, for instance. So when a project is created, uh, we want to check, for instance, and we're going to check this every five minutes as an example. And so, so when that project is created, what we're going to do is um, let's add a new one over here. And let's add an, another uh, a checkpoint. And we can say that, for instance, in this checkpoint, for instance, we can say, well, if the project is over $5,000 and I want to send an email to someone or I want to send a Slack message, if it's below that, then I don't, etc. So it's very easy to create these different rules and situations based on these different conditions, right? I will leave this because I'm not going to deliver that, not going to look for it for that right now. Let's take a look at the status of our bird. It still hasn't found that status because, again, it's every five minutes. But um, the integration is amazing and um, I invite you to check it out. It's really powerful, opens so many sets of different possibilities in our localization space. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.